So this is it. This is the Zenblocks Assistant. Basically, you uh, use your Vast AI account. You can get your API key, which allows you to control your account remotely. Uh, so you put your API key in the env file. You have it, uh, instructions right in the GitHub here. Very easy to follow. Show you where to find the API key in the in the menu on Vast. And uh, yeah, so once you have this loaded up, you can view your active miners. I haven't checked mine in a couple days. We'll see if they're even running right now. Okay, so we got a couple running. So that's good. So this is the, these are the basics. This is this is how you get started mining. So these are running. These are hashing. So what does hashing mean? Zenblocks is using the Argon2 algorithm to generate. Argon is actually used for password hashes. So it generates password hashes. If one of these hashes, just a random string, a random number, has Zen11 in it, then it counts as a block, and you get rewarded for finding that hash. And that's how proof of work is. You're spending your GPU power, your, your, your compute power, to calculate these hashes. And if you find the right one, you're doing that to sec quote unquote secure the network and provide the proof of work. So we have a couple different hashes. We have XNM, which is just the basic Zen 11. We have super blocks, which are Zen 11, but they have a certain amount of capital letters. So they're extremely rare. Um, and then we have the Zunis, which instead of Zen 11, they say Zuni, but they can only be mined for 10 minutes at the top of the hour. So each one of these GPUs that I rented are hashing. They're creating 4,000 random strings per second. Um, each one of those I'm hoping has a Zen 11 in it, because if it does, I get rewarded in with 10 X and M coins. So these XNM coins, these Zenium coins are proof of work coins. So just like Bitcoin, proof of work also has a halving and that kind of drives the value up and makes it more scarce. So it's, it's disinflationary. So rather than it constantly growing at the same pace, once the project turns a year old, and I, I believe it's September or October, the amount of rewards are gonna half. So instead of getting 10 XNM per, Zuni, per hash, you're gonna get five XNM per hash and it's gonna be twice as hard to find hashes so i'm doing all the hashing i can right now you know 30 cents an hour is quite a lot you know, it's three bucks every 10 hours so but we're getting a lot of xnm we're getting a lot of zoonies and these are going to live on the x1 network so that's that's kind of the rundown of what hashing is what zenblocks is and uh, how how that works so what is this new verification thing so we have these new vote this verification voter i think i have it loaded up here on the pie let's see if not i'll set it up real quick yeah we do cool oh shit we got a simple water siding <laughs> hell yeah you think too much <laughs> so all right so we got our, our voter here our, our block verifier let me do a git pull make sure i got the latest version we got some new files in there that's good so we're gonna have to do a, a cargo build i believe so right now when you're, when you're mining Zen blocks um, and you get a hash, you're actually sending it off to Jack's server. And uh, J you know it basically says that, yes, this is a hash. I verify it's a real hash. You get added to the leaderboard on the Zen miner move site. You can see your hash on hash head. You know, it's, it's an actual hash there. But the next step is to make it more decentralized. And that's what this voter, the Zen blocks light node is all about. So the Zen blocks light node fetches records from the Zenblox ledger and then verifies that it's a, a true hash and a real hash. And this is going to be another way that you can earn XN. Um, I heard a lot of different rumors and, and ver you know different ways that this might work, but I believe the general consensus is that you're going to stake either your XN or your XNM. And once you verify hashes and you're, you're verifying them successfully and you're being a good actor and you're submitting the votes, you're going to earn the XN for not only staking, but also verifying. So it's kind of a cool thing. Uh, I'll show you how it works here. So this is the original version of the voter. So first we're going to get clone. So get clone just pulls it from GitHub onto your server. And we're going to type CD voter to open the folder. Uh, we already installed Rust. We checked Cargo. All right, so we're going to build the project. 
during initialization, the node will create an ID.json. This is your private key, basically your wallet file. So you'll be identified among the other nodes. This is where you'll receive future rewards. As your light node runs, it will submit computed data to the Zenblocks consensus ledger, which can be accessed here. So, uh, so the Zen Miner Moo show data site. So each of, each of these pop it in the chat there each of these is a is a different voter so all these different wallets are people actually running this verification software each one of these is a is a a block id so this is a range of blocks 601 to 700 has a unique fingerprint and you can see there's 58 people running this this voter software so go ahead and let her rip So there's my public key. Ah, go back up. I gotta grab the key. Oh, there it is. Cool. So the, these are the different hash IDs in the range, and I verified them. Each one of these is a vote. Yeah, uh, you know, or uh, you know, I, I can't. It's, uh, not each one of these is a vote, but this is the block that I'm voting on. So this one was data, uh, the data was successfully sent to the server. Now we're waiting for more hashes to be mined. But if I go back to this, I should be able to see that. So since it submitted to the server, it grabbed the wallet address, it verified the Zimblox hashes, those Argon2 hashes that we're, we're actually mining over, over on uh, Vast. Now, if I search for my wallet address here, look at that. So that wallet address we just created it's already verifying and it's already on the website. So we have the consensus ledger doing this decentralized verification through these CPU nodes. And it just happens that fast. That is so amazing to me. I, I can't believe how fast that actually happens you know, instantly. So this is the complicated way. Uh, this is the, the initial CPU voter. It's basically just a, a script. Um, but shout out to uh, the creator of Zenmon. Steve, I think he, he likes to go by Ludophilus. Is that how you? Yeah, Ludolphus, Ludolphus, Steve. We'll just stick with Steve. But uh, he's made some awesome utilities for the Zen ecosystem, Zenmon being one. Uh, but he recently just made a web version of this verification. So if we come over here, announcing the Zenblocks web voter. So check this out. How, this is extremely cool. So it's, it's basically this complicated ass script that we ran, but it's just in a website and you don't have to do anything. So it automatically creates that ID.json. You can uh, reveal your private key and back it up. So we have this public key here. I can tell my computer the number of cores I want it to run. I'm gonna set it to two. Uh, I forget how many I have, I think I have 12. Oh, I only have six. 12 uh, virtual processors. So we got six actual CPUs. So we're gonna use two, we're gonna borrow two. So, and then I simply hit start and now it's verifying blocks. So you can see it's running this Python script down here at the bottom or the, the, the cargo script down here at the bottom. It's verifying. So the blocks are verified in batches. So we, we essentially verify that block. You can see the public key right here. Now, if I take it over to the voting ledger, give it the old refresh. And there we are. So that wallet that we just created on that website is already running, verifying that these hashes are legitimate that are being submitted to the ledger. How fucking cool is that? So not only are we mining, we're using proof of work to create the Xenium, using the Argon hashes. Now the hashes we are we know are legitimate because they're being outsourced to these CPU miners and recorded on the consensus ledger. So fucking cool. Shout out to Steve. It doesn't get much easier than that. So you can see it's just doing its thing. So now it's waiting for hashes to be mined. 
It pauses for 10 seconds. And then my miner goes and, and finds a bunch of Zen 11 hashes and super blocks and zoonies. Then we get another batch of 100 blocks and we're going to run the verifier. It'll use my CPU and then we'll be on the voting ledger. How fucking cool is that? Just the fact that he made it so easy too. That's that's the biggest part. Plus it looks like the matrix. Uh, you know, I have a thing for the green. If you come over to hashhead.io, I love the, the black and the green and the, the, the matrix aesthetic. That, that's my thing. So the fact that he <laughs> used the greens and everything, I think that's so cool. I love that. So yeah, shout out to Steve creating the Zenblox web voter. And really now is the best time to really turn up the mining. You know, the, the first halving is gonna be in September and things are getting real quick. There's things being built on top of Zenblox such as this to make the, the network more reliable and more secure. All right, so we just verified another 100 blocks, 0 0.2 seconds per block. And now if we come over here, so right now that says one of one. If we refresh, do another search. Now there, now there's two. So we, we get two rewards for two sets of blocks that we voted in. And it's, it's really all about making Zen blocks more decentralized.